What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Poke Daily, where we open Pokemon cards every single Saturday, 9 a.m. As you saw in the thumbnail, we are opening a bunch of the Radiant Eevee collection boxes. Um, I went ahead and opened most of them. Um, so there are a total of four that I have. One of them I'm keeping sealed uh, for later. We'll see. Um, I'm opening three of them though, so that's still gonna be a total of 24 packs. Each of these come with eight packs inside. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of like what the box looks like first. Um, I did go ahead and open it because you've probably seen before, I struggle opening things. Um, so this is what it looks like on the outside. You have four packs, four packs. You have the Radiant EV promo card. This is the only way to get it. You got a pin. Um, it says you get a promo card. It says eight booster packs. It comes in this uh, pretty, pretty big looking box here. And then here's the back side of it. Um, this talks about Radiant Eevee. And then here's the contents. You get the promo card, the deluxe pin, I guess. Uh, you get a play mat, which I'll show you in a second. Eight booster packs. And then you get a code card, which is pretty common in most of these. Um, so now that you know what the box looks like, I'm going to go ahead and just take this one out as well. And as with most of these Pokemon Go products, you do get a bunch of code cards. So I'm going to give away the other ones as we go through each box. So it's sort of spread out a little bit. So there's the first one. Take a screenshot if you need it. Um, let me go ahead and take off this plastic as you... See, this is, this is why I do this, because um, I drop everything. Uh, so this is what it looks like, though. Pretty nice looking Radiant Eevee. Getting some sunshine on it, maybe. Hopefully that helps a little bit. This is promo number 230, if you were curious. We will set him there. And then there's that code card. If you were trying to get that uh, promo card, I believe this would probably give it to you. And the promo card that I dropped here was that other one. The promo card is probably somewhere, but here's the code card at least. And last but not least, um, there was that other one that I didn't drop. And then here is the third and final code card. So there's that. I'm gonna take out our eight packs. And we'll set these aside. So as you can see, I have three packs of eight. And then here is the pin. It's actually a pretty nice looking pin. Um, if you're wondering why I don't have a third pin, it's actually because I gave it to somebody uh, at Barnes & Noble who really wanted it. And I figured since I... Um, Bought three of them. I didn't really need the pin, so that's where that third pin went. Um, okay, so then the other thing is, let me clear off this little area, and then you can see this is what the play mat looks like. It's rolled up like this. Um, pretty standard play mat if you've ever bought one from, I don't know, Amazon or the Pokemon Center or whatever. Um, pretty much the same as every other playmat you've probably seen before, I would imagine. Um, if you're used to my channel, you know I usually have this um, Blastoise Charizard Venusaur one. But for the purposes of Pokemon Go, we'll just leave this Eevee one here. So we do have all three playmats here. Like I said, I only have two of the three pins because I gave that third one to one of my friends at Barnes & Noble. And then we gave away all three code cards. Um, there is another one of the Pokemon Go code cards. And I think that's pretty much it. So we have, how many did I say? 24 packs to go. Um, this light is a little bit annoying. Let me close the shades here a little bit. Okay, so hopefully that will be a little bit more consistent. We have three stacks of eight, and we're just gonna get right into it and start opening them up. Um, I know there's a lot of packs, so hopefully if you've stuck around this long, um, you know, you're, you're used to how things go here on the channel, 
new videos every Saturday, 9 a.m. If you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that like button, uh, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any feedback. Um, it definitely helps the algorithm, as they say. Uh, helps it spread to other viewers just like you who might be interested in this type of content. Reverse is a lure module followed by Dragonite V. First pack of the day and we're already getting a full art Dragonite. Cannot be happier with this boy. We're going to set him here. We'll have our uh, reverse hollows there. And I'm just going to put my stack of bulk here. And... There we go. So that was pretty good. Um, let me know in the comments what pack, what box I should say. Do you vote for one, two, or three? Obviously, if you say one, you already know we got that Dragonite, uh, Dragonite full art. If you're wondering what else are we looking for, um, if you saw last week's video, you would see that I did get V Star card. I did get one ditto which was on a uh, Bidoof, I believe. So we're still looking to get the Numel and the Meltan versions of Ditto. If you're wondering what that looks like, uh, I'll put uh, a little card thing in, in this general area. You can watch that video and see what a Ditto card looks like. Reverse Onyx followed by a Charizard Hollow. Very good. Um, something that I think I'm going to do and what I did in that video, if you take a look, uh, go watch it and then come back here. What you'll see that I did with it is I peeled off that ditto card and added that ditto, you know, part of the collection. And then I put it here on this side. I put that sticky ditto on this side and then that side kind of looks like that. So that's what I did with the ditto sticker once, once I peeled it off. You know, there's not necessarily something right or wrong to do with your ditto. Uh, some people are saying that they want to leave one peeled and then they want to peel one of them and they want to have a total of two copies of each. So, you know, a peeled numal and unpeeled numal, blah, blah, blah. Um, Radiant Charizard. Wasn't even <laughs> expecting that at all. Um, definitely needed this guy. I think this is one of the most expensive, uh, most valuable. Um, I think it started at like 180 now it's down to like 40 50 bucks but nonetheless perfect and then we got a pikachu oh man we are already getting some hits out of here aren't we so we got the radiant charizard i'm kind of speechless i don't even know what i was talking about um there he is radiant charizard you know if you want to see another look at him here's what radiant charizard looks like I want to say I have all three of them now, um, I think. I know I got a Blastoise in the first two ETBs that I opened. And I think I got a Venusaur in the ETB that I opened yesterday. But you know, I don't know. Back to what I was saying. So some people, what they're doing with their ditto cards, like I said, you got, oh look, we, we got a ditto. All right, so if you don't know, ditto can be on three cards, a Bidoof, a Miltan, and a Numel. You know it's a ditto because right here, you'll see this ditto icon. Uh, let's see what we have under here further. Okay, it's not a Charizard, whatever. All right. So what we see is there is a ditto icon right there. That means that this is not a numal card. It means it's a ditto card. So it's a little bit tricky, but you just peel it off like this. And there you go. Ditto. Sudden transformation. Beautiful. So I do want to collect all three of these at least. And then... Like I said, what I've been doing with these, well, I only have one of them so far, I guess. But I take this V part and I kind of put it on like this, like a sticker. I think this is the way to use those V-Star cards. And then there you go. 
you put these in your little binder slot, you got three of your dittos and you know it was a ditto. So there you go. That's what I recommend you guys do with your dittos. All right, so we'll leave the ditto right there and we will continue going on. So pretty, pretty good radiant box here so far, huh? Let's see what else we can get. Um, so like I said, I, I think I think that would be the third, I'm sorry, the second. Still need to get a Meltan. I think the third one's a Meltan. Um, I could be wrong. I guess I'll probably find out sometime later when I look it up, or it might be Spinarak actually. I think I've been lying this whole time and it's actually a Spinarak and there is a Blastoise. So, so far we've got in Blastoise and Charizard maybe Maybe we'll get a Venusaur here, we'll see. And what else do we got going on? We got three more packs to go of this Radiant Eevee collection box. If you're wondering for your own personal financial decisions, one of these boxes will actually set you back $49.99. Um, if you do the math, you're getting eight packs. And if we consider they're about four bucks each, that's $32. Uh, you're getting a pin and a promo. Okay, maybe they add on another dollar or two. So 36, you're basically paying that extra $14 for the mat. And that's being pretty conservative, I would say. Probably pretty unlikely that this mat <laughs> is worth $14. I mean, that's probably what they sell for, but how much are they actually worth? I don't know, good question. All right. Um, and then we got, looks like two more packs here to go for box number, box number one. There's your code card. And let's see, okay, I think I see something. As long as we don't get a slack off, or who else do I not want? Executor, Executor. Also don't want him. We got a Bulba Spinarak and we got a Dragonite. I already, already had the Dragonite, but yeah, that's fine. And I think, oh, we got one more pack to go. So let's see if this one is just as good. But I mean, either way, the fact that we got a Radiant Charizard and a Dragonite Fort plus a Ditto, if you want to consider the ditto a hit or not. All right, let's see what else can we get in this last pack here. Hopefully we can get a full art, um, maybe a hyper rare rainbow. We got an Ivysaur and a Zapdos. So that's gonna be it. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna clean up a little bit here, put the bulk down out of the way. We got the hollows all up here in this pile. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit more viewable. And then we're gonna now move on to box number two. So what do you think of box number one? You got the Radiant Charizard, you got a Dragonite V and a Dragon Dragonite Full Art and the Ditto. Might be a little bit tough to beat. Um, I think I may have accidentally cheated and I saw something under my hands. And Meltan V, there it is, another full art uh, craziness. We're getting full arts first time every time, huh? Um, you know, I, I need to do a better job at showing this off. So if you want to take a look, there's that Miltan, not too shabby at all. And let's keep going. We got a bunch of packs to go. If you're not subscribed, this is just a friendly little reminder. Uh, just hit that nail, the mill, the nail, hit that bell notification. You know, I, I like watching these type of videos myself when I'm doing some charts or studying or, 
you know, just eating dinner or whatever it is. Uh, I think it's always a fun little thing to do. Keeps you busy, play it in the background. Just something to listen to that's kind of, I want to say mindless. I, I don't like to think that I'm mindless, but I am a little bit mindless, I would say. I've been looking for this guy, even though it's an uncommon. I've opened, I think I calculated like 42 packs, well, prior to, prior to today. And I never got that on Pheasant. Finally got one. I think that was one of the non, you know, shiny special ones that I needed. Snorlax Reverse, and oh my god, another Dragonite. What is happening here? Oh, jeez. Oh we got two Dragonites. Not sure how special either of these ones are. Uh, this one here on the left definitely looks much better than this one on the right. But, can't complain. We got two full arts. And now, we're gonna keep going. There's a code card if you like codes. Oh, speaking of codes, here is that last Pokemon Go code card sheet. Pause the screen, take a screenshot, do what you gotta do if you need them. If you get anything cool. Well, look, another Unpheasant. Uh, let me know. Magikarp. The Unpheasant is just one of those things where you know, I don't know about you guys, Lapras. I still need the regular Lapras and a Sylveon. I needed him too. Perfect. Um, I still need the non-reverse hollow. I'm not sure if I needed this one also, but I definitely need a hollow Lapras. And I also know I needed this Sylveon, so we will take him as well. And looks like we're maybe halfway through these packs from box number two. You know, like I said, if you if you chose box number one, you probably were doing pretty good with that Radiant Charizard. But now with two full arts, I don't know, does that sort of outweigh one Radiant? I don't know. Maybe if we get like a Rainbow or a Gold Mewtwo, that would be nice. Another Sylveon, what do you know? Now we have two of them. Um, I don't know why it always seems like that. Like, I needed on Pheasant, and then I got two of them in a row. I needed a Sylveon, I got two of them in a row. Uh, we're still looking for... Who are we looking for? We're looking for the third and final Ditto, which I believe should be on a Spinarak. Now that I remember, I reminded myself... And could it be not on the Chansey and Articuno? All right, two more packs to go. Uh, and then of course we still need, I think just like the Mewtwo VMAX, the gold Mewtwo VMAX, and the rainbow Mewtwo VMAX. There is something coming up the bottom of this pack Numal, Eevee, Articuno, holy, holy shit, man. Three full arts in one. That, that's crazy. I've never gotten three out of eight. I mean, technically it was three out of seven, but you know what I'm saying. Three out of eight in the, in the box. And I did the same thing that I know I said I should do better at, is I didn't really show him off. We're gonna take a look at him after we go through this last pack. Eevee followed by Tyranitar, beautiful. All right, let's take a look real quick at our Slacking. He's like a sloth, but he's a king, king sloth. I think that's pretty much how that works. And I'm going to move some of these other cards here just a little bit out of the way make things a little bit more legible all right so there we go we got these three what am i doing here let's do it like this 
Okay, we can see that, yeah, all right. And then we got, we got this, okay. And then we have our reverse hollows, we'll leave there. And we had that ditto, we'll leave him there. And we'll take these reverses, there we go. All right, I feel better, it looks better. We got this beautiful EV mat. How did they make this EV look so much better than every other artwork of EV? No idea. Now, it's gonna be hard to beat this one. Well, I should say the, the first one, you know, we had the Radiant Charizard, and then the second one, getting three, three to, um, I think we had him. Uh, the second one, getting three full arts. A little bit unreal there, I would say. Definitely glad I chose to open these ones that we got. You know, I mean, I shouldn't really say glad to open them. It, it's all luck. I mean, the next box we get could have completely nothing in it. Charizard and a Mewtwo. Beautiful. We needed him. And Charizard we'll put there in our reverse pile. Not sure if we need him or not. But, oh. See, see, I'm not... I need to show this off. This is a really nice looking Mewtwo. Kind of reminds me of the first Pokemon movie where Mewtwo and Mew fight each other. Um, Ash turns into a stone at some point, which was kind of cool. And then, um, you know, everybody cried and stuff. It was kind of sad. All right. This is maybe our third pack. If you're wondering, where did I get these? Um, Blastoise. We will put you here on your pile. Um, two of these I got from Pokemon Center, and then two of them I got from Best Buy. I obviously have no idea which box we were opening. So I can't really say like, hey, Best Buy had good cards or Pokemon Center had good cards. I don't personally believe that that's a thing, but I know that some people do. People are like, oh yeah, wait, Bidoof. This is also a ditto. And who do we have, Tyranitar? Okay, perfect. Um, I already peeled one of these before. I'm just gonna kind of bypass him, leave him alone for now. And I don't know, we'll, we'll decide some point. I won't waste your time with it though. I'll sort of just look at what I want to do with him. Still looking for, like I said, I think it's a spinner rack that should have our last ditto. Charmander, Apom, Bulbasaur, Pedov, Magikarp, um, Pheasant, and a Melmetal. Pretty good looking Melmetal. Don't know if I needed him or not, but it's kind of interesting that now we're just getting two V cards. Really wonder if if there's one more hit. Can we get one one more hit out of this collection box? I mean for for 50 bucks, I'm sure hoping so. Not like that means anything. I'm sure all of you guys have gotten some pretty bad looking boxes just like me. And a slacking three, three V cards. We got three full arts. And then this one was kind of just a bunch of random, random gibberish, I would say. And then let's go, we got two more, two more to go. This is nearing the end. Bulbasaur, Onyx, Babarel, Slowpoke, Badoof, Slowbro, and a Venusaur. I don't think I was really paying attention, but I'm pretty sure um, if I can find it really quickly, just to see if we did have all three of them. I don't know how that guy got in there. Looking for a 
Blastoise. Here he is. Boom. We have done it, my friends. We got all three of them. Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. Okay. Last pack. Like I said, if you made it this far into the video, please make sure you hit that like button on your way out. If you're not subscribed, hit that bell notification. Leave a comment. Tell me what you like and what you didn't like. Tell me what, uh, what was your favorite poll of the day. And also, I'm curious, what are you doing when you watch these videos? Are you just like laying in bed on your phone or maybe you're eating dinner? Maybe you're doing homework and you're not even looking? I don't know. And a Charizard, okay. Pretty good. Um, so these were our hits. We got box one, box two, and box three. Thank you so much for watching. You can see some more videos over here and over here, and you can hit that like button in this general area. I'm sorry, subscribe. Subscribe here, press here. Okay, goodbye, and I'll see you next week. Take care.